Over the last two years, I've been a part of a working group to explore the use of robotics to increase student engagement, independence, and to meet curriculum expectations. We've been working collectively with regulated health professionals, psychologists, speech and language pathologists, and PTOTs to support this learning. This year, we rolled it out to five different schools across our board, so in different areas and different special education settings. The schools have had an opportunity to work with a number of different robots with the support of assistive technology consultants, special education consultants, and regulated health professionals to develop lessons and routines with using robotics to support student learning, engagement, and independence. The idea behind what we've been doing is to explore whether robotics um, could work within a classroom context for more than just coding um, and mathematics, right? So how might we integrate the robotics into various curriculum strands? So we came up with the idea of planetary exploration. Basically, at each station, we pretended that Dash and Dot or the Cody Rocky robot was um, a robot that was built to explore a new planet that could potentially host human life uh, in the future. Train the robot, so to speak, so that they could see whether or not there was terrain that we could use. If the robot was to run into a rock, we had to train it how to go around an obstacle. And so that's how we sort of wove in those geography and social studies um, pieces into what is essentially a coding exercise as well. We just worked together and tried our hardest to do it. In the 20th century, we're definitely going to be moving towards more complex stuff, uh, and I think it's good for kids to just learn that type of stuff because almost all jobs are going to have something that includes an element of coding. Um, every student learns differently, so you had that cooperative learning, you had the patience, and the students were able to navigate different activities. One of my classmates worked on some sort of golf course, and I was supposed to go into slingshot mode to um, pull back and then release releasing the robot as it goes through the course, the marker is acting as um, sand and water. It's going more into electronics. I, I think it's a good idea to, for the younger generation to learn all that stuff to make it easier for us to adapt. I think it's pretty much very important because it educates the next generation and the current generation with how to do this stuff and how to improvise and do stuff like that it pretty much really gets the generation interested in it. It's just a great opportunity as well that they get these robots and it's all hands-on, it's all experiential learning. So I think that's an awesome opportunity to build those interpersonal relationships and to work as a team, you know, and use their imagination because they were setting up different obstacle courts and stuff like that. And not to mention, of course, that they had a lot of fun doing it. Our hope is to expand this pilot project to other schools in our system so that other students will have opportunities to engage in learning with robotics. We're also exploring and going through the final process of being able to establish a CIA process for robotics so that students can have robotics as part of their CIA claim to continue to develop those essential skills as they move forward in school.